Hi, it's Nassau County Executive Laura Curran. Uh, I am so happy to be part of this virtual celebration of the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I'm happy to join with my friends in Long Beach MLK Center, even if it's virtually, as uh, we're gonna be doing things for a little while longer. So something that really struck me about Martin Luther King Jr. was his idea of the beloved community, the beloved community. And I think that's something that we always strive for. We always strive, and I'm speaking on behalf of the county and county government, to, to make everyone feel that they are part of a beloved community. And I think we saw that really during this pandemic, during the past 10 months that have been emotionally exhausting for so many of our residents. Our goal was to keep people safe, and to give them the information that they need and continue to need, to give them the resources that they needed and continue to need. You know, whether it was food drives, putting food on the table for more than 30,000 families across the county, whether it was helping women and minority owned businesses obtain loans to make it through to the other side, restaurant recovery grants for so many of our small businesses and small entrepreneurs, uh, rental assistance, we're able to help for three months of rent for those who need it during this pandemic. And of course, just getting the information out there, that life-saving information out there. Another thing we really sought to address are the health disparities in Nassau County. So we know that there are health disparities based on ethnic, racial, and socioeconomic lines. We've got a wonderful health care system and health care infrastructure in the county, but not everyone has access to that. So we brought testing right into the communities that needed it. And when we did that, we saw the rates of infection actually go down compared and even lower than the county average. Now with vaccination, we are shorting, uh, facing a real shortage of supply. We have a huge demand, but we're working as hard as we can to turn those vaccines around. As soon as we get them in, we get them in the arms and we're focusing on our seniors. We're focusing on our vulnerable populations. Uh, we're trying to get everyone eligible and everyone knowledgeable to get vaccinated as quickly as possible. So those are just a couple of examples of how I, how we continue to strive to work towards making everyone feel that they are part of the beloved community that Dr. Martin Luther King envisaged and spoke about so beautifully. So happy Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day and thank you for being part of this beloved community.